Let's go to Ashley in Omaha. What's up, Ashley? Hi, Dr. John. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Awesome. What's up? Um, so my question is, is, I am on baby step two. I'm paying off debt. All right. So let me pause right here. For our listeners who don't know what that is, she's following the Ramsey Solutions get out of debt plan, which is a seven step, the baby steps we call it. Um, step one is save up a thousand bucks. And step two is pay off all of your debts, smallest to largest, except for your mortgage. And so you are in baby step two. Are you grinding it? I'm grinding it. Um, How much debt do you got? I have about $30,000 in debt. What is it? In loan. Student loans? Oh, gosh. Sally Mae, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you're grinding it. So I'm grinding it, and I'm killing it. Um, <laughs> my question and my concern, though, is that I'm starting to run into some health issues, okay. physical, mental health. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have like 150 pounds to lose in okay. addition to battling depression and anxiety. Yeah. So I'm wondering how exactly to set kind of some healthy boundaries while taking care of myself while paying off all this debt. Hmm. How do we get from seven-year-old Ashley to here? You've got a lot going on in your heart. Oh, goodness. Yes, I do. It was, it was hard for you to say, I've got 150 pounds to lose and mental health challenges. That was hard to say out loud. Yeah. That was really a brave thing I could hear in your voice. Walk me from yeah. seven-year-old Ashley till now. Uh, seven-year-old Ashley. Let's see. Seven-year-old Ashley was just a child. Always kind of struggled with her weight. Always being made fun of. Mm. Um, I've struggled with my weight since I was little, but I guess the big like weight challenges started when I was in high school. Okay. When you get you get a childhood of you're not beautiful and we're making fun and I can't believe you're wearing that and all the noises and mean awful things that elementary and middle school kids say to each other. And yeah, not only that, but I'm also on the autism spectrum. So okay. It kind of made things a lot worse. Absolutely. Right. So then you've got connection challenges, connecting with other people and that makes it even worse. Good grief, man. You got a lot. Yeah. Um, do you have a supportive network? I do. Mom and dad still in the picture? Mom and dad are very much still in the picture. <laughs> you said that though. It's not, I very much still have a tumor. <laughs> are, 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 you, are you glad they're in your life or no? Oh, I'm, I'm glad that they're in my life. Um, it's just kind of. Yeah, that was a bad question. That was a bad, now. I didn't ask that question. <laughs> um, if you sat down with them tonight and said, I'm going to embark on four big things at once. I'm going to lose 150 pounds. I'm going to pay off everything I own. I am going to ultimately land a new job and I'm going to um, take control of my mental health. Would they say, would they get tears in their eyes and say, you will have two cheerleaders, one running ahead of you and one running behind you and we've got your back on this deal? Oh, absolutely. They would? Yeah. Okay, so why are they making your life hard right now? Um, well, it's hard for me right now just because I live with them, but I've also had to step up uh, as a role of a caregiver for my mom. Oh, gosh. You're also a caregiver for your mom. Like, what does that mean? Um, so she has some health issues right now, too, where she can hardly walk, and they're looking at potential surgery in the future. So I've been having to kind of take more care of her and do stuff around the house for her and my dad. How old are you? I'm 30. Why has this become your job to be their caretaker? I figure I'm not married. I don't have kids. I figure that, you know, I'm their daughter and they want what's best for me and I just want to take care of them and just 
certain things that I've seen with my experiences in my life, I've come to that decision that I'm okay with being their caretaker. Hmm. Sounds to me like you're drowning. Sounds to me like you're slowly suffocating. I do feel like I'm suffocating. Yeah. You may have convinced yourself or forced yourself, um, but as the great Vander Kolk says, your body's keeping the score. Yeah. And there's something codependent, there's something um, unhealthy about the relationship and interaction here. And yeah. wanting to take care of your mom is a beautiful, wonderful thing. But if you do it and you die in the process, you've not helped. Yeah. It sounds like you've lived a life of, I'm trying to disappear. I'm going to hide in plain sight. I'll hide behind my weight. I'll hide behind my fill in the blank. And this is a, a way you can help even though helping is killing you. And what I'd love mm -hmm. to see you do, I'd love, love to see you look in the mirror and say, what do I actually want out of this one crazy life? That's exactly how I feel. So can I ask you, what do you want? Like snap your fingers and you're down 150 pounds. And you owe nobody anything, nothing. And you've got a new car that you paid for with cash. It's not new. It's like a 2019 or whatever. Mm -hmm. what, what would you do? Oh, gosh. What would I do if I was debt-free and if I had all the things in the world? I hold, would on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, can, I, can I challenge you real quick? Sure, sure. The way you just said all the things in the world makes this sound like it's Cinderella. And yeah. it's not. This is just getting your life back. This isn't a fantasy. It's not a myth. This is right in front of you. Yeah. And you, my sister Ashley, are worth laughing and being loved and feeling good when you wake up and your knees not hurting and your neck not hurting. And every time you get that email from Sally Mae, your heart drops again. When your boss treats you like crap and you think, I'm, I'm worth more than, you're worth all of that. And this is not a Pixar movie. This is mm -hmm. your life. What would you do? What would you do? Um, I don't know. I mean, I never really thought that far to be it. Okay. I bet if you and I spent an hour or two together, we could, you could walk me back through some things that you think are pretty normal about how you grew up and how you were treated. And that I would probably be looking at you with my mouth wide open. You've seen and experienced a lot, haven't you? I have. You have. And people have hurt you, haven't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the hard, the hard path here is saying this stuff happened. And yet I'm worth more. So, so much more. Yeah. So here's how you prioritize your health. You look in the mirror today and you say, I'm worth feeling good. I'm worth my dad getting up and he can help his wife because he's a grown man. My mom has struggles and we can negotiate. I might be able to help, but I'm going to make a plan to at least consider moving out. I'm going to continue to pay off my debts in the baby steps way, the same way I'm going to be about changing the way I treat my body because I'm worth being loved. And right now you hate yourself and you treat your body in a similar way. Is that fair? It's very fair. Okay. No more today. I'm not going to let anybody hate Ashley. Because Ashley's awesome. Because you got a great, great heart. 
and nobody's given you any tools to show the world how that thing works. Okay. Okay. I think after 30 years, I think it's going to be very, very difficult to impossible to do this on your own. You've been in counseling, you said? Yes. Has that been effective or no? I'm guessing not. Not really, and I'm trying to find another counselor. Okay. So I'm going to do a couple of things for you today, okay? Today is just the start. Today is when we turn the lights on, okay? And your homework assignment is this. I'm going to trade you a lot of cool stuff for your homework assignment. Fair? That's fair. Your homework assignment is I'm going to write Ashley a letter. And it's going to have three parts to it. Part number one, here's what happened. Part number two, owning where we are right now. I owe 30,000 bucks in student loans, probably for a degree I'm not even using. I'm 30 and I live with my parents. Um, We we didn't even talk about your romantic situation or anything like that. I am dealing with a highly codependent set of parents who are expecting this and that. And I've just talked myself into X, Y, or Z. And my body's falling apart on me, and I, and, I, and my mental health is is really struggling. I'm isolated and alone. And the third part of this letter is going to be you saying, "Here's what this could look like." Because if you don't have a place that you're going, you're not going to get anywhere. If you don't have a picture of, I want you to dream as clear as possible. The house will look like this. The job will look like this. The person I'm dating will look like this. The car will look like this. My bank account will look like this. And I'm not doing this in some like manifest. And that's nonsense. I'm saying you've got to have a picture that you are going to walk towards. And you saying, I've never even thought about that. You're worth a beautiful picture. And if you will do that, I want you to, um, write this down and I want you to either mail it to me or email it to me. Okay. That's your accountability. Cool. Okay. That sounds good. For that, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to give you a year subscription to Ramsey plus. Okay. That comes with the, okay. the, the Ramsey solutions app that for tracking every dollar app that tracks all of your expenses. It's uh, everybody around here uses it. It's incredible. It's the best one on the market. Um, it also has all of the financial piece videos that walks you through all the baby steps if you actually want to get out of debt. And it's got all kind of other stuff in there. Tons of encouraging things, questions, all that kind of stuff. You got to use it though, but I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to give you a year subscription, okay? And okay. I'm going to send you a copy of my new book, Own Your Past, Change Your Future. That's what we're talking about. You got to own what happened, own reality, and then make a plan for what comes next. And that book will walk you step by step by step through it. Okay. The third thing I'm going to send you is my friend Ken's book, Paycheck to Purpose. I want you to start dreaming about what kind of work you can contribute to in this world. And maybe it's taking care of your mom, but if it's taking care of your mom, then your dad's going to pay you a salary. Okay. Okay. You're not going to be a free stay at home nurse for your family. Okay. Cool? That sounds good. And my hope the next time I talk to you, you are six inches taller. Not in reality, but in the way you talk to and look at and love Ashley. Will you say that out loud? I'm worth being loved. I am worth being loved and I can't wait to call you back after I've done all this and give you an update. Yes, Ashley. I love it. <laughs>